welcome to the part two of this let's say um, we've been able to cover erosional processes transportational processes and also coastal different uh, coastal landforms so for the part two of this lesson we'll be looking at um, mangrove swamps and coral reefs in line with your IGCSE geography syllabus so quickly um, the first thing is a uh, condition requires for growth of coral reef now one you need uh, at least a warm water uh, with a temperature of around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius shallow water uh, that is not more than 50 to 60 meters deep the water should be free from sediment it should be clear and there should be availability of light now you need plenty plentiful supply of oxygen in the water and the water should be should not be polluted so water needs to be unpolluted uh, water so it needs to be clean plentiful supply of plankton which will be the major um, food um, producer within uh, the coral reef and lack of strong current now if you're asked in the exam to um, describe the condition for formation of coral reefs once you are able to remember this then you'll be able to get your full marks warm temperature shallow water uh, not more than 50 to 60 meter deep you need water free from sediment plentiful supply of oxygen um, plentiful supply of plankton and uh, lack of strong current now there are different types of coral reefs and we have three major types we have the fringing reef the barrier reef and the coral atoll now fringing reef they are attached to and circulate on the coast of a landmass so they are attached to a landmass and circulate the coast of uh, landmass so a um, barrier reef however occur at a distance from the coast line so occur at a distance is quite away from the coastline and are often separated from the coast by a lagoon you know a lagoon is formed usually behind um, a bar where we looked at the structure of, uh, of a spit bar and tombolos uh, where we say bar connect to headlands so barrier reef occur at a distance from the coastline and are often separated by a lagoon while coral atoll rise in a circle from submerged volcanic island so a, a submerged volcanic island is somewhere here and the coral reef rise um, in a circle with a deep lagoon usually in the center now mangrove swamps how are they formed um, mangrove swamps or salt marsh these are shallow swampy wetlands you can see them here that are colonized by saltwater vegetation that develop in a sheltered area and is usually behind a spit. A spit connects the mainland to develop as a result of a long shore drift. It begins to deposit materials from connect the shoreland, uh, the coastline to and it grows into the sea. And behind it, you have your salt marsh or mangrove swamp here and the water is often brackish is brackish because it's a mixture of fresh water that is coming from uh, a runoff from the mainland and the water that is from the sea so once the water from the fresh water from the mainland mixes with that from the sea it normally give a brackish water and uh, this brackish water accumulate behind a spit 
to form a mangrove swamp. So, next, uh, in the next video, we'll now look at um, coastal processes where we'll look at the different form of coastal hazards and the management of this coastal hazard which is also very important because it comes out a lot in most of uh, the IGCSE questions.